Hi, I'm James Hannon, author of Anatomy of a Cosplayer, Tales from Behind the Mask. This is the book of the who, what, where, why, and WTF of cosplay. Um, interviewed with 60 of my closest friends of our cosplay experiences over the last 10 years. Today I want to try something new and read a passage from this book. Um, today's story time is about my meetings with John Wesley Shipp, the original Flash from the 90s TV show, and the Golden Age Flash, Jay Garrick, from the CW Slash. Um, this is my first time doing this, so it may be a little goofy, and I, and I accept that. And if it gets any better, hey, well, maybe we'll work on begin making this a lot better. Meeting John Wesley Shipp times four. If you haven't seen but plan to watch the Flash TV show, you may want to skip this section. It includes spoilers of the Jay Garrick character plotline on the show. Still with me? Great. As alluded to in the previous story, Teddy Sears' character Jay Garrick became a villain. And in doing so, it was revealed that he wasn't really Jay Garrick, but Hunter Zolomon, who would later become the Flash villain Zoom. It seems Hunter imprisoned the real Jay Garrick and stole his identity. The Flash, Barry Allen, saved the day and freed the real Jay, who turned out to be the actor John Wesley Shipp, who originally played Henry Allen, the father of Barry Allen, in the show, but had recently been killed. But his doppelganger on another nerf is Jay Garrick. I'm starting to realize how much this show sounds like an extreme soap opera when you explain the plot lines. I'm sorry for the detailed explanation spoiler, but I need to show how two actors could portray the same character while one of those actors could portray two characters. It should also be noted that John also played the Flash on the Flash series from the 90s. Anyhow, John's portrayal of giant Jay Garrick finally inspired me to finish the Jay Garrick costume that I had started a few years earlier. I really love how they modernized the character, but kept it true to the original character. Teddy Sears is a great actor, but there was something off about his portrayal of Jay, making it seem like he was turning villainous. John portrayed Jay Garrick as honorably as a comic version of the Golden Age. Thanks to my amazing seamstress, Melinda Holsinger of Mojo's Modern Creations, I finished the costume. By luck, John Wesley Shipp was scheduled to attend the local horror convention called Chiller Theater in October 2016. Chiller isn't really known as a non-horror costume friendly event, but after my Jesse Ventura experience early in the year, it that didn't bother me. I met John Wesley Shipp for the first time. He was such a nice man and complimented me on the costume and took pictures of me that he ended up on his social media page. And he shared tips with me how the costume designer kept the Golden Age flash helmet on his head while walking. I thought it was a great meeting but never expected to meet him again. Boy, was I wrong. Three times over. The second time I met John was at Great Philadelphia Comic Con on April 8, 2017. He was appearing as a guest there and my Legion of Supervillains group had a table there. I didn't plan to meet him, but I was dressed as Captain Cold and my friend Clyde Leonard was Gorilla Grodd. So when we saw his line get smaller, we went over there to get a photo and costume with him. Our friend Kristen was there dressed as CW Supergirl, so we brought her along. The best part, John remembered me from Chiller. I was in totally different costume and almost six months later, but he knew exactly who I was. And he was even nice at his time, we taking a, quite a few photos together with him and Supergirl fighting Captain Cold and Grodd. And those pictures also made it to his social media pages. We all had a great time, and on the fly I made the decision to induct John as the second honorary member of the Legion of Supervillains. Teddy Sears was first. I offered him our official patch and trading cards, and he loved them, and mentioned that Flash actor Grant Gustin was a big patch collector and actually wore them. I gave John an extra patch for Grant, so if you ever see Grant, John, or Teddy Sears wearing something with a Legion of Supervillains patch, you know the origin. The third time I met John Wesley Ship was May 2017 at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jackson, New Jersey. My friends at the Garden State Comic Fest had collaborated with the amusement park to throw a Comic-Con at the park. And John and the Legend of Supervillains were both guests. And John remembered me yet again. He had a huge line all day long with fans waiting to meet him. John is unique in that he really talks to fans and sincerely seems interested in what they have to say. My villainous friends and I would walk by him numerous times and jokingly give villainous stares and one-liners. He would always play along and give heroic lines back. It was a really fun day at Great Adventure and not your typical Comic-Con. We decided that we needed yet another group photo of John, and this time we had 11 hero and villain characters in the photo with us. The fourth and last time to date that I met John was at Garden State Comic Fest 2017. He and my Legion of Supervillains group were guests. This time my group had a full flash rose gallery with us and had to get yet another picture. He was totally into it and having had good experience with fire, he was friendly with all of us. He even encouraged us to take a larger Legion of Supervillains photo with him, and both of these photos end up on his social media. John Wesley Shipp is a classy guy who really seems sincere and is fun to work with. I don't know how many more times we've run into him in the future, but I do know I will always go out of my way to see him.
that's my first attempt at doing story time with Anatomy of a Cosplayer. Let me know how you like it. Comments below or wherever they are. Um, and let me know if you like it and if I should do more of these. If you do, maybe I'll uh, grab a few of my friends who were in the book and have them record video for me in the, for their sections. Let me know. Thanks a bunch. Remember, Anatomy of a Cosplayer, Tales from Behind the Mask, by James Hannon. That's me. It's available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and at jameshannon.com, where you can find autographed um, books for me. Um, check it out.